Hey guys, welcome to another episode of California Ant Keeper. Let's jump right into it. It's Campanatus season right now in Southern California, and I caught 20 Campanatus queens in the Crestline area of Southern California on May 5th. These queens were all caught within a half hour time frame, starting from 8 to 8.30, and it was about 75 degrees. The first species I found on this list is Campanatus lavigatus. I've never had this Campanatus before, but I do have one that is very similar, Campanatus curcicola. It's a very big species. You can see how close the Lavigatus looks to my Kirkacola queen right here. The only difference between the two is that the Lavigatus has white hairs on its abdomen and the Kirkacola is quite a bit shinier. I've always wanted one of these queens though, so I was pretty happy when I found her. You can see the white hairs on her gaster. She also has quite a nice pile of eggs with her too. Next queen I found was a Liameptum occidentale. I actually have this species already and my colony is very huge. I probably won't end up keeping this girl just because I can't handle two colonies of that size. This species is known as the velvety tree ant and some people mistake them for Campanatus because they like to live in hollowed out trees as well. And the workers are very polymorphic too which means they come in different sizes. Next up Campanatus vicinis. I also have one of these colonies as well but these were the ones I found most that night. This is also a very large species of carpenter ant. What I like about this species is how beautiful the major workers look when the colony gets older. This is my colony of Campanatus vicinis and they're at about a year old right now. And this queen was caught near the top of Mount Baldy, California last year in at the end of May. And here's another vicinis queen I caught the same night. Here she is cleaning herself. This queen's coloring was quite different, so I wasn't sure if it was Vicinus at first, but you can see how large her gaster is compared to the other one. Sometimes when their gaster is this large already, it ends up being a parasite that was living in their gaster, and their gaster will actually explode. Next up, we have a Campanatus Sigi. I actually saved this one. She was being torn apart by another colony. I'm surprised she survived this long, but she's a fighter. I've seen a few successful colonies with queens like this, but I really doubt she's going to survive, but let's hope. This next species we have of Campanatus is Campanatus clarithorax. This one's a lot smaller, much like the Campanatus Ziggy. I've never kept this species of Campanatus before, so it should be interesting to see how much different their behavior is to the other Campanatus. In the coming weeks, I will post videos on the new queens that are about to have workers because I have a few colonies that are about to have workers any day now. And there's a lot of content coming up on the channel, so I hope you guys stay tuned. The colonies I have are growing really fast right now, like crazy fast. Also, some more of the honeypot queens I have should have workers any day now, so that should be interesting to watch too. Thanks, guys. See you next time.